This is the Half Man Report with your host, <laughs> singer, comedian, and tremendously handsome man, Victor Perez. Woohoo! All right. We finally got the uh, technical difficulty taken over. And uh, this is your boy, Half Man. Uh, you got Spider Man, you got Batman, you got uh, well, Superman, Batman, Spider Man, and now you have Half Man. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you with the three F's. Okay. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking about, but it's too early for that. <laughs> uh, what we're gonna do here? We're gonna have a report, and we're going to um, we're gonna give a little bit, little bit of a comedic spin on what's happening in the world, right? You know, and my 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 opinions here, and this is going to be um, how do you say? Uh, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you some headlines. I'm gonna give you some some. Uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Just hang out, right? Well, uh, today is the 31st, I believe. This is August 31st. It's Wednesday, which some people say is Hump Day. So I really don't understand that. I mean, there's so many people who have different shifts. Not everybody does Monday to Friday or no Monday to Saturday. But anyway. Uh, this is uh, Psalm 95, 6 and 7. Psalm 95, 6 and 7. And this is the NIV, which is the non-inspired version uh, that Victor uses. Actually, it should be the NIVV. But I just do this just so, so you can get like something simple. You know, because I know it's kind of early. People haven't even had their coffee yet. Anyway. It says uh, in Psalm 96, 95, 6 and 7, it says, Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker, for He is our God. And we are the people of His pasture, the flock under His care. Today, if only you would hear His voice. Wow, that's a lot right there in that little, in that little verse, you know. I mean, think about it, you know, I mean... Here goes the psalmist is telling us, let's 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 get, let's get serious with this worship. We need to have the presence of God in our life, you know, twenty four seven. I mean, I don't know about you, but I see it getting crazy out here. I mean, when I before, when I used to go out on, to drive or or be a, now lately I've been a passenger because I have uh, a hold on my license, a hold. <laughs> I got a hold on my license, so it's suspended. I don't know what the heck it is, but anyway, that's 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 another story I'll get into. That's uh, that's between me, the VA hospital, and um, the uh, Department of Motor Vehicles and all that good stuff. Well, even before I get into this, you know, I'm gonna tell you something, uh, inter kind of interesting, you know. So anyway, the other day I go to. Um, I go to, and while I'm talking, I'm going to be uh, doing my pills here. I'm going to be <laughs> doing my pills for the week. So I'm going to be doing that. This one here, I got to take a whole mess of pills, man. Ever since my double stroke, everything has been pills and just surviving, you know. And I have my closet uh, open because I wanted to show you something. I have, uh, like, all kind of drawing things here. I'm going to start a uh, drawing and, um, no. What was it? Uh, drawing and and laughter therapy. I'm gonna call the laughter. The, the laughter is gonna be laughter is therapy lit. We're gonna be lit, okay? <laughs> and just to use the the terminology that people are using now, we're gonna be lit, which is laughter is techno. I mean laughter. What? Laughter is uh, therapeutic. No, uh, laughter is therapy lit. L I T. Okay, maybe I'm the one that needs coffee. <laughs> well, I gotta hear. Uh, I love the way these people put these uh, these names for things. I thought um, I thought some of these uh, some of these strip clubs had very creative names for their for, for the women that dance there because since I since I was driving for Uber, Lyft, taxi uh, here and in New York, I have. Uh, I always remember some of the names that they would tell me, go over there, go over there to uh, 2001 and pick up uh, sugar. 
you know, <laughs> or sugar, sugar bear or whatever, sugar baby. I don't know what the heck it was. But anyway, you know, they use these creative names, you know, cinnamon. There's always a cinnamon. It seems like there's always a kind of like a dark skinned woman who they call cinnamon. You know, ah, hello, I'm cinnamon. You know, like, what the heck? You're not cinnamon. You're, you're a person. But cinnamon is a spice, you know, or whatever. I don't know. Um, what are some of the other names? Uh, I guess sugar, sugar baby, uh, cinnamon. Uh, what else? Desire. My name is Desire. Can I? I go to the. I go to the to the strip club. I used to go to the strip club to pick up the the, the passengers. I stay, stay over there. Um, I pull up and the doorman would ask, "Who who are you looking for?" You know, I'm looking for cinnamon. I'm looking for desire. And he used to look at me like. <laughs> but then, of course, I you 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 know if you if you know me, even for a little while, you know I'm crazy anyway. So, uh, what is this here? Take one tablet by mouth. At bedtime, for mood and nerve pain. Mood and nerve pain. So. Don't don't get me don't get me don't get me don't get me mad because I could always say I had too much of this and, I, and that's the reason why I killed him. You know, <laughs> could you imagine that as a defense? Here I am calling up Catania and Catania, and I'm telling him, uh, "Hello, can I speak with Catania?" And they say, "Oh, which one you want to speak with?" I said, "The the good looking one." <laughs> And so they put on a Catania there. And, Hello, is this Mr. Catania? Yes, this is Mr. Catania, attorney at law. And I said, well, I need your help. You know, and said, well, what's 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 going on, man? You know, and I said, well, uh, the thing is that um, I uh, I accidentally uh, killed somebody uh, yesterday out in the street. I just sucker punched them and killed them. And uh, pretty soon they're going to be arresting me. And he says, well, why did you do it? Uh, well, the reason that I did it was because I took too much uh, amitriptyline. Oh, oh, I forgot to take my um, amitriptyline. <laughs> and uh, I forgot to take it, so I've been very moody and... And I've been very, very uh, different with the nerve pain. Really? You could say mood-altering pills. Do you really need that? I don't know, but obviously the doctor... I'll tell you what happened. The doctor at the VA. Should I say her name? No, I'm not going to even say her name. Because I'm sure that... I'm sure that... Catania will probably tell me, don't be, don't be, don't be going on the internet. Making things, uh, making things up about private citizens, man. That's called libel. Look at what happened with Amber Heard, right? She was okay, man, until she started talking bad about Johnny Depp. She's now she's fifteen million dollars in the hole. I, one of the hardest things for me to do is, uh, believe it or not, it's uh, trying to trying to sort out my pills because what happens is that. Um, you know, these, these, I take out the pills, right, and I put it on my bed, and then what I do is I try to uh, pick them up individually with my left hand, which is kind of hard. You know, just, oh. <laughs> I just hit my, I just hit the phone with my crazy arm. This is my crazy arm here, you know, and I, and I even grew my nails out a little bit because it's very hard for me to pick up little things, you know. But I figured if if I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna let my nails grow so that this way I could pick up small things. See, because usually I keep them very very small. But with my with my crazy arm, it's uh, very difficult for me to pick up small things. And I'm sure you're probably thinking, well, why, why, how many small things are you gonna have? Well, the thing is that um, I mean, at the, at the VA, those therapists they will they will give you a they, they give you a lot of small stuff to. to to pick up like in therapy and stuff and you gotta have uh, manual dexterity dexterity is that what it is? I don't know I'm trying to use words that I'm not familiar with okay it says take one tablet by mouth 
at bedtime for blood pressure. Note, dose increase. And this is uh, amlodipine. Bacillotate. Okay, so we take out seven of these. And out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And put it away. This is nighttime. What is this one? Did I do this one? Yeah. I put all the bottles in alphabetical order so that and then I go one by one until I put them in the uh, in the thing over here. Take one tablet by mouth every day for secondary stroke prevention. And this is aspirin 81 mg, which is milligrams. This is day one, so I take I put it over here. I think I just spilled my pills, man. <laughs> my pills are on the floor. Pill down, pill down. My pill is on the floor. I know what you're thinking. Is he actually going to pick that up and put it in his mouth? Hey, you ever heard of the five-second rule? Well, I have the five-day rule. <laughs> if I find a pill, and I, I'm going to pick it up. But not right now. I'm just going to I'm just gonna take some extra pills from here. I'll pick those up later on. A couple of them fell on the ground. But I have the five-day rule. So. And that's aspirin. Which is, uh, what is this here? Let me see. Well, let me put these things in, in these uh, receptacles here. This is night one because it's very close to me. One. Sunday. Monday. Tuesday, what? Tuesday is stuck. There it goes. Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday. Friday. And last but certainly not least, disco day, Saturday. <laughs> you can tell I'm a child of the 70s with, with the disco, huh? Let's see if we can get these real small pills. This is a real small pill. See how small it is? These, this is what this is what really works on me. Trying to sort these pills out is crazy, man. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And uh, so this is this is the routine that I have to go through. And it, uh, what else is in the what else is in the all right? Let's go through a little bit of the word. So it says, "Come, let us bow down and worship." This is Psalm ninety-five six and seven. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. There's something about kneeling. Um, I never really knelt too much except when I was in Teen Challenge. And when I was in Teen Challenge, man. They used to have a, um, they used to have some crazy prayer meetings, man. And I was probably the craziest one of them all. <laughs> I mean, I, I put the P in Pentecostal when I was, uh, when I was praying, you know, maybe not so much, uh, in other things, but in praying, yeah. And there's something about the posture. You know, there's something about actually kneeling on your ground. Uh, we see that. We see that a lot, you know, we see that a lot throughout the Bible. Uh, we always think of Jesus uh, kneeling down to pray in the Garden of Gethsemane. And uh, we also, we also uh, have to take that as an example. I mean, I don't, I don't think that's, that's really in there, but I think some of the posture of the people when they're praying and when they're worshiping is very important. Uh, it talks about uh, Elijah. Uh, doing a fervent prayer. Well, what kind of what kind of posture do you have there? Are you laying down on the ground, leaving DNA on the on the church carpet? I don't know, but anyway, uh, I think the posture has something to do. Just like when we raise our hands and worship God, you know, 
I think uh, the posture that we do the, in here, the psalmist is telling us to kneel before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture. Pasture, so He's like our shepherd. The flock under His care. Today, if only you would hear His voice. Today, if you would only hear His voice. So that's incredible right there. Today, if you would hear his voice, well, you know, you have to be, uh, when it says, if you would hear his voice, I think in my lifetime, I have had one time that I, that I, that I thought I heard the Lord, one, and I've been, and I, and I accepted Jesus in my life in, uh, 1983 was when I recommitted, but 